Grundy wins the tap. Sire onto the footy. Phillips with a scramble clearance for the pies. Hoskin Elliott, very clean hands from the Hoskin Elliott ball. The bounce. You love him here. Bouncing through the 50 and kicking the goal. Explosive stuff from the Magpies. And Adam Trelaw with the silky finish. There's few more lethal on the break out of the centre square. And that's Exhibit A. Oh, it was a Ooh. good moment. Oh. A single Sorry, shot. All the way to the prize, <laughs> too. He <laughs> stole oh. well, didn't quite oh, steal the show. <laughs> Adam, welcome. Thank Where's you, the buddy. hardware? <laughs> I didn't bring it, mate. I told you not, to bring it in on, on the it's coverage last me. night. It's not about me. Hey, well, what sort of honour is it, though, on a day that is dedicated to Neil to, to win the prize named in his honour? Yeah, I think, well, when, when, uh, when they presented me with it, I was quite flustered. I was, uh, yeah, I was probably red-faced, didn't really know what to say because... Um, it's a pretty emotional week for, for, for AFL, but for the footy clubs involved. Um, you meet quite a few people that uh, are struggling a little, uh, struggling with M&D. Um, you hear a lot of stories. And for Neil to come in and speak to the group um, and speak to us, and you know when, we, when we're in that environment when he's talking, um, you could hear a pin drop. Like It's just dead, si uh, dead silent. You're listening to him, everything that he's saying. Uh, yeah, like, you know, when, I, when I think about it, you get emotional in a way because yeah that lump in the throat because he's such an inspiration I mean I don't think I've ever met anyone more inspiring than him the way that he goes about his life the way that he is he is so selfless um, he could play the poor me you know why is this happening to me I don't deserve this but he doesn't um, as they say they fight in the beast and they're really in the fight hopefully they can find a cure sooner rather than later but to be a part of that day um, obviously to win the, the Neil Danaher trophy is something that I'll hold very proudly for the rest of my life. That's yeah. an awesome answer, Thank you. Adam. Thank you. And you deserved, you you. deserved it. You're playing great footy. Because uh, Scott Pendlebury said, and I read this on somewhere, yeah. he said he would love to get up there pre-game and, and we'll get him up there 20 minutes before he's really his grandfather. Ready. His grandfather and he has the away personal from cause. MND, so. um, and a side story, I really like the fact that um, sports people out there that have... Um, Unfortunately, had people in their lives pass away from MD, get involved. So, Anna Mears, her coach, passed mm. away. Um, and Nick, um, a family member, has passed away as well from, from MND on, on um, his mother's side of the family. And he got to represent them as well in that stage. So, mm. oh, I, like, I'd love to see the captains. We, we could get it. Surely we could get it going. Like, yes, Penderbury okay. said that he's oh, the, Penderbury and whoever, uh, Jones and, and Viney, the two that you just need to get over the line. Everyone else can fly in. <laughs> yeah, You'd like to do, to. Are you, you're not captain, though. No, well, I'm not captain, but I'd love to see it. Well, it could uh, be I'd next year. Could be next year. All <laughs> well, the best and fairest winners, top ten of the Brownlow. It's, it's quite uh, expensive, it's isn't ideas. it? Hey, what, what would we pay for a session in the Nets with Warney, the G? Um, oh, it's, well, what is it? You and nine mates. Yeah. It's a 10 grand business. 1500 each? I reckon the stories would be worth 10 grand, wouldn't they? I reckon oh, yeah. 1500 each, yeah. 15,000. So 15, I faced Farwood Armoured in the nets under the MCG once. Mm. He absolutely cut me to bits. <laughs> <laughs> 90 kilometres an hour from a spinner is still really quick. Moving, spinning, or moving uh, in the air? He, no, he, was, he bowled a couple of wrong ones to us and just absolutely did me in. So, so far, what's his name? Farwood Armoured. Farwood Armoured's Farwood Armand. got you covered. Yeah. What will Warnie do now? Yeah, no. oh, I just hate to think it. Hate to think. Let's talk about your two teams. So Collingwood nine and three. Nathan Buckley said this morning that over the past couple of weeks he's had the the mid-season interviews with each player. What, what goes on when you go in to, to talk to the coach and the, the match committee at this time of year? Yeah, it's it's really where you're at individually, and then obviously how you're contributing to the team. And it's sort of just uh, only in there for about five ten minutes, just chat. It really is just chat in general about what's going on, where you're going in the off-season. Really, that was really my one, where I'm going. Not in the off-season, in the, in the four-day break that we have. But, yeah, where you're at as a team, um, where you're at as an individual, your improvement areas, what you're doing well, what you can do over the break to improve, um, and then come back So it can't, be, it can't be so negative, but it's got to be uh, the balance. Right? Yeah, you're going pretty definitely. well. I would imagine you said, Adam, you're going, you're going pretty well. I would imagine Buck said, yeah, I wouldn't mind you kicking the ball a little bit more. But that's what yeah, I always well, say to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, oh, I know you say that to me, but... Um, <laughs> That wasn't necessarily the uh, the roof for improving areas for me. There was other areas, but uh, yeah, there's obviously defensive running. Good and you've bad. improved that over the last. <laughs> Something years. that I'm very proud that I can uh, hold, hold my hat on that I am improving in that regard. So does so Buckley say to you? I mean, we make fun of it, but it's a really important aspect of every player's game. Does Buckley say, "Geez, no, you know, we're talking about the defensive running. I can see it. I can see it." And yeah, all well, that well, well, I think they have stuff. a measure. I think they've got a measure 
game day for I think um, distance or speed covered in defence and offence with your running. You know they can have it for when we don't have the ball when we do have the ball. So you can sort of measure it these days. How much has that improved? Oh, through the roof, through the roof. Yeah. But I think it grows as we spoke about this a couple of weeks ago. But how it, yep. how when you get a bit older, a bit more mature, mature, it's not really about you know how you're going. It's about how I can contribute to the team, yep. how I'm going to help the team win. So. For me, it's playing my role, and that is to be a two-way runner, getting back to help the defenders out, getting back so I get on the end of maybe a kick or just help out in defence and then help transition it the other way. Is this so. a fetish you've been in your, in your life? To, to, your role is to be there, yeah, to yeah. get I, the pill and transition. I, yeah, I'd say, no, I, I'm reason, I work pretty hard, so I'm pretty fit most years, but I think it's the smartest that I've run. I know where I'm running. Okay. I know what I need to do. I know where I need to be. So, yeah, I think just to have that knowledge and know what you need, need to do is, is the best for us going forward. So, but back to that, what we're saying, we speak, as a, we speak in line groups too, so we talk obviously where we're at as midfield group, backs group, forwards group, um, split up and then obviously have a, have a little bit of a break, four day break and then come back into it, take the second half of the season. Get a haircut and get back. <laughs> I'm due for a haircut, I'll go on tomorrow. Every two weeks. Every Sorry, two weeks. Robert, actually. No, I don't. Every two weeks, <laughs> Every two weeks. Has, a, has a haircut. Yeah, and my, my what, bar- do they, what do they do? My Just barber run had a goal me because I didn't have one yet because I haven't had one in... About two weeks and three days now, so I've got to make it's sure I get a bit, a bit It is long. Yeah. It's not good at the moment, is it? <laughs> oh, my God. You're criticising the bloke about his hair. No, I'm not. Oh, my gosh. I'm admiring it, Jack. <laughs> well, what's your view? Do you eat chocolate? Occasionally. Crunchy is my favourite. Crunchy? It was a crunchy. Shocking chocolate, chocolate crunchy. <laughs> what, do you eat chocolate? You're allowed to eat chocolate. Oh, Players allowed to eat chocolate. All the time. Yeah, in moderation. I had a Snickers and a Twix yesterday after the game. And half time. Now, you're heading to the Sunshine Coast because Kim, who plays for yes. the Magpies, yes. is playing yes. a oh, good game and this is in the Varco Indigenous inspired jersey here. Dress. Yes, the Trav Varco inspired uh, gown that we got there. Um, yeah, so, well, dress. Yep. <laughs> gown, dress, whatever you want to call it. Skirt. But, uh, but uh, yeah, so um, Certainly not going, up on, uh, going <laughs> up on going up on on Thursday. So a little mini break for me. So Thursday, Friday, right. up there with uh, some friends, and then watch Kimmy and the girls play on Saturday. Kimmy's hundredth game. So looking forward to it. Great stuff. Enjoy it. Congratulations Enjoy it. yesterday. Keep it going. No fear.